Hey YouTube, it's uh, the Rockstar 101 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to access all of the features in your Acer Aspire One Happy Two. All right, so you're going to start by removing these three screws. Actually, before you do that, take out the battery because you know it's pretty bad if you get shocked. So take the battery out, put it aside for later. There are no screws actually under the battery in there. There's none, so you don't have to worry about all that. It's just these three, and then a couple under the keyboard which you have to remove um... yeah and to remove the keyboard I don't know if you can see but there are tiny little clips that retract in there and there's um... three retractable ones on the top and one that's just sitting there and then one on either side and so I might edit this video because it did take me a while the first time. But I just used my pocket knife with the uh, bottle opener. I also had a flat head. And I just went in and pushed the screw in and lifted that part of the keyboard up. And after you did that, you just kind of try and pull the rest up like that and then from there there is a ribbon cable and there's just a little black clip that releases it you're going to need that to put it back in though okay so in here don't know, you can't really see it won't focus, but there are five screws labeled door, and for me it says M2 by 77.5. And you have to remove that to be able to open the compartment under the laptop. So I'll just open this. And they're five, and they're quite long, and you just set those aside as well Now there is this one screw down there and um, for some reason for me it just doesn't come out which is fine it doesn't interfere but it just doesn't want to come out so you'll only have four screws out if you have a one like mine and uh, you don't actually have to remove these three on the bottom I just always did uh, and um, <coughs> In here, up in the corner of your hard drive, there's a thing that says door release. And you just push down fairly hard on it. And the door, the bottom, or door as they call it, will pop off. Like that. Alright, closing that. Now, see how one side's lifted up? That's what you work with. And you just kind of gently, but with a bit of force, you push and pull all of the sides up and then off. And then you get this, you have padding for the hard drive, and then your speaker grill, and some more insulation screw holders. And that's just the bottom. Alright, in here we have it all. I recently upgraded my RAM from 1 to 2 gigabytes. It actually takes DDR3 RAM, not 2. And uh, 
from uh, if you're trying to get the hard drive out not quite I think you pull on that up and then uh, maneuver the hard drive out but this is the RAM it's got two clips one and two and the RAM just comes out and you can tell it's DDR3 because DDR2 RAM this notch is closer and um, it's easier to find DDR3 RAM and plus you can get it you know bigger sized and there's actually only one slot in there uh, you can't put double memory this is the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, exhaust, exhaust fan and yeah, hard drive and that's this is um, I don't know what it was I don't think it was anything but um, if your laptop does have this and uh, there is something in there please leave me a comment I would like to find out what it is and then f after doing that you just get the backing and you put it in the battery side in first because that's a hook so that just slots on or slots in actually and clips and make sure you've got it all clipped which mine is now and then just push it down on all oops it's popped out again so you just kind of and then there's this one bit that you have to be careful of inside it just goes in a little hole but it doesn't want to go in first so that's that and uh, that's back on so you turn it back around and you get your four screws and the fifth one is in there still hasn't moved and you put them back in and then screw them up after a while these uh, screwdrivers even though they're not magnetic tipped uh, after coming into contact with a lot of metal they get a bit of magnetism which I find pretty cool and useful so if you have old screwdrivers hold on to them because uh, you know with age comes wisdom I guess and that goes back and then you get your keyboard which you shouldn't have thrown out I don't know why anyone would but yeah and then the ribbon cable um, it just goes back in and the white line isn't covered at first but once you put the clip down it should be covered if it's not then it's not in properly so it goes in as far and then I don't know if you can tell but the white is completely covered if I open it back up the white line and then you push it back in close it and then there's none and that's how you can tell if it's completely in and then it's just it's not hard getting it back in because it just all clips and that's that and then put the battery back in lock it and that's it you're good to go thanks for watching uh, get your friends to subscribe like comment um, you and uh, look at my other videos I'll be posting some more today um, and Thank you.